Hi and welcome to the video on marks and grades in Moodle quizzes. Here we have a Moodle quiz, it's got two questions and what I'd like to do is focus in on the right hand side. So each question uh, has a mark of one, which is uh, Moodle's default for, mark, uh, for questions in quizzes, uh, but the teacher can change the uh, uh, the figure to anything they like uh, and above there shown by the arrow is the total of marks that Moodle calculates from whatever the teacher has set in the marks below. So now what I'd like to look at is this maximum grade. Uh, Moodle's default is 10.0 but I've changed it in this instance to 100.0 because I like to work with percentages. So what happens when the student does a quiz? So the student's result of the quiz is divided by the total marks within the quiz and then multiplied by the maximum grade. But before I go forwards, I need to go back to this because if you set nothing or you delete the maximum grade from the field of uh, uh, the, the number field, then the quiz will not show up in gradebook. Anyway, so let's go back to that um, equation. So the student's result is divided by the total of marks and then times by the maximum grade. And this, uh, in this instance, if the student got one of the questions wrong, they would have gained one mark out of a total of two, and then that is times by the maximum grade in this example of 100, so they get 50% uh, overall grade. And that will show up in Moodle Gradebook. Uh, however, in Moodle settings, there is a grade to pass. Now, this is really useful if you want to track activity completion or, for example, have the, uh, another resource open up if the student passes the quiz. So in this instance, what we would do, we would, let's say, have 50% 50, uh, 50 and don't forget this is a grade, not the marks now. Uh, so the grade to pa pass is 50% for this quiz and if we set that correctly then we can use activity completion. In this instance the student must receive a grade to complete the activity and it must be a passing grade. Now please be aware when using quizzes if for example you have seven questions so total marks is seven if the student then gets four of those correct, it's going to be 57.14 as a percentage. So what do you put in the grade to pass? So my top tip is here, be consistent with your maximum grades and check the grade to pass uh, every time. And you might have to do some calculations uh, and mathematics to get the percentages uh, if if you're using an odd number of questions in your quiz. So that's it. Many thanks for listening. Uh, my name is Mike, and that's the end of the video on marks and grades in Moodle quizzes.